haven't done a live in so long. Oh, there's two people on. Say hi if you're on. <clears throat> anyway, I'm here. My name is Lisa. I think you all know that. But I don't know if you all know, but I recently became a Wise Owl retailer. And I'm so excited about it. These paints are amazing. I am so happy. And my boxes all showed up today. There is a ton. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Juliana. You guys are awesome. Family's the best. Um, but I got all these boxes. My UPS guy hates me now. He literally was walking around my circular driveway with these seven huge boxes and they're super heavy. And he was, by the time he got to me, I was like, can you go bring them over there? And he was so mad at me. So anyway, but I got my boxes. So we're gonna do an unboxing of these paints and I'm so excited. So as I walk off screen, I think I will turn my camera. I have not done a live in the garage where I have all my stuff. Um, so the first thing I have is my marketing materials. I don't know if you can see them, but they're done beautifully. So that's our one hour enamel paints. And then there is the color swatch cards and some pamphlets. So that's the back, that's the front. So that's exciting. And now, this is my favorite part. We have brushes, so. Oh, I love bubble wrap. There's my scissors. I have so much stuff. All these boxes here, I don't know if you can see them, but do you see, whoop. Do you see all the boxes? Those are all filled with my order. So that's going to be fun. And my phone keeps tipping over. So anyway, so we're going to unbox these. We're going to unwrap these. <gasps> these are the best paint brushes. Oh my God. They're by Klingon. Look at that brush. Ah, that's some hardcore painting. What a great brush. So there's that. I'm gonna make a mess here today. And I got another one, so there's two. And then, oh, this is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a long live because there are a lot of products here. And I am so happy. All right, here's, um. oh, these are so awesome. Ah, these are the best brushes. So there's this brush. There is this brush. These are the best brushes, oh my God. They're made so well, they last forever. Another one. And another pointy one for hard to reach areas, like corners and stuff like that. Some more brushes. Love bubble wrap. There's this brush. These are all by Klingon. Oh, this one's my favorite. I don't know if I just put that. It's the F50. <gasps> it's the best brush. I use that brush a lot. <clears throat> I have one. And this one is the F40. I have not used the F40 yet. This is another F50. So I am going to have a lot of brushes in stock for people to purchase. Oh, this one's awesome. Angled. Oh, I love it. Look at this brush. It's the P20. It is angled. Look at that. How cool is that? That is the coolest thing ever. What a great brush. I have three of those. Ooh, that'll work great on my next project. Ah, bubble wrap. Oh, wait, this one's bigger. I didn't really, this is a P24. Look at that. These are great brushes. Oh, and this is the P16. It's a very skinny, small brush. 
if you're on, say hi. I know someone else just came on. I know, Juliana. Isn't that cool? I don't know. Before, I used to paint with just regular brushes. These, they have like the best brushes. This is another of the big brushes. They have the coolest brushes. They do everything. I can't wait to get to the paint. Oh my God, I see them. I see them. I see them. Wait till you guys see the colors. Here's another big brush. Oh, these are the best ones. Oh, they're my favorite. Hold on. Ah. This is the O35. O45. It's a little bigger. This is O45 again. And O35 again, but that's a little smaller. And then we have one more set of brushes to go. Oh, these are more angled brushes. So again, we have the P16. We have the P24, which is a little bigger. And then we have the P20, which is right in the middle of all of those, width-wise. Those are great brushes, huh? Oh, I'm so happy. Here we go. I gotta bring this closer. Okay. Oh my God, I'm so happy right now. I can't even. Okay, I have a gazillion sample paints. Oh my god, these are so flipping cool. We have deep turquoise. Look at that color. Deep turquoise. I think it's two ounces. I think these are two ounces. Antique Villa. We have Snow Owl. We have Turmeric. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I love that color. Love it. We have Peppercorn. Peppercorn. We have Grecian Clay. That's pretty. I like that color. I might use that color on my next project, actually. I'm doing an old sideboard, an antique sideboard. And I think I'm either going to do a crazy, vibrant, super vibrant color or a mix of colors, or I'm going to do a subdued colors. This is Carbon. This is tourmaline. Grab a couple of these. Oh, this is one of my favorites. This is Higgins Lake. I don't know if you can see that, but it's so pretty. It's like a greeny, gray, blue, turquoise. Here is smoky quartz. Here's limestone. This is a great color. Love this color. Then we have. Oh, this is my favorite. This is vintage duck egg. You can see that. This is gray linen. Beautiful color. I don't know if it's showing up properly. It's really pretty. This is bone. This is chocolate and it really is a true brown. Let me see if I have a black that I can put next to. Actually try this. You can see. Do you see the difference? 
This is more chocolatey. The lighting's not that great in here. So. Then we have, let's see what else we have in here. We have cashmere. This is a beautiful color as well. Hey, Jenny. How are you? My whole family's on here. Love it. Thank you for the support, guys. I love you and I miss you. Mwah. Uh, this is Spanish olive. This is a beautiful color. And this is weather vane. So all these paints come in, um, they come in pints, quarts, and gallons. So, ah. this is Siren Song. I don't know if you can see, but it's like, it's really a beautiful color. Then there is Inkwell. This color is used a lot on pieces, furniture pieces. And then this is Prussian Blue. Oh, it kind of looks like the other one, like the Siren Song, but it's, you can see the difference. Hey, Jenny. Love you. All right, take that away. And then, so many more. They have so many colors, it's really amazing. Okay, we've got, we've got plastic all over me, okay. We've got, Blush. This is like, I want to say it's like a beige, pale, pale, pinkish beige. You can't really see it on here. And then there's Robin's Egg. That is such a pretty, pretty color. It's almost like Tiffany color. And then there's Refurbished Gentleman. It's a blue, like a muted blue, I would say. Yeah, Siren Song is really pretty. And then there's straight black. So that's nice. A real true black. And then we've got, oh, you're gonna like this, Jenny, is another chocolatey color. This is Iron Oxide. That's pretty. But that would look really good with the chocolate. Um, this is Atomic Blue. It's really blue. And then this is sea salt. I like this color. Look how many of these samples I have. Oh my God, there's so many. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, we're gonna tell the turquoises. I'm a summer water girl, so I love like turquoises. This is Charleston green. I don't know if you can see it. Can you kind of catch the green? I don't know if you can see it. Let me put it up closer. This is joyful. Look how pretty that color is. I love that. Then this is Mermaid Kiss. This is beautiful. My daughter would love this. I love this. It's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. All these colors are so, so pretty, really. Really, really outdid themselves. All right. Hold on one second. Okay, this is Military Bronze. That's a really pretty color. Put that up there. And we have Petal. That's really pretty. Look at that, it's like a very pale, pale pink. I love it. Golden Rod, reminds me of crayons. But there's goldenrod. It's actually really pretty. It doesn't do it justice on here. 
Um, but it's more like a, let's say like a muted mustard color. Like, I'm going to compare these two. So this is turmeric, which I showed you earlier. And this is uh, goldenrod. So do you see? It's just kind of a muted color. More on the wall. has more white in it. A white base. Uh, so many crickets. This is a really pretty color. It's called mandarina. I don't know if you saw any of my posts this week, but it was uh, on there. Hi, Lauren. How are you? I, I heard you saw my sister some time ago, I think. In this, I think it was in the supermarket. She told me she saw you. Anyway, that's, that's mandarina. This is black cherry. It's so pretty. It's like a purple. I have paint on my hands, yes. If you see my thumb, I have paint. <laughs> black cherry is really pretty. And this is 1987. That's the name of it. 1987. Love it. I really like that color. Um, I'm just taking them out so it's easier to show you. There's so many of them. I'm really psyched. I'm really, really psyched. This is me just making a mess, so forgive. All right, get these out. Okay, we've got, oh, this is so pretty, begonia. Look at how pretty that color is. It's begonia. And we have Republic Red. It's a darker red. It's not a very bright red, but it's, yeah, I like the cherry too. I'm with you. The cherry is beautiful. Um, this is dried thyme. This is foxtrot. Let's see. We've got river rock. This is really pretty. I really like this color. I like the muted blues. I'm, I've always been... Uh, I always gravitate toward them. This is graphic slate. It definitely is a slate color. So I definitely like that. I'm sure I'll be using, oh, this is very blue. I'm going to do a very blue and a very pink. I love this name. It's called Rock Steady. Look at that. That is some hardcore pink. I love it. And this is sapphire. That is so pretty, that blue. Look at that. That is really pretty. That would look great with um, some uh, a stencil or with a transfer using that color as the base color for your, for your piece. And then using a transfer. I bet that would look beautiful. Oops, shoot, dropped one. Not cool. Okay, this is Abyss. I have to learn all these names. This is Abyss. Oh, and you know what else I did? I got these little um, wood uh, cutout. I don't know what they're, I think they're called blanks, but they're in the shape of owls. And I'm gonna paint each one of the owls the color of the paint. So, and then um, they come with holes in them. And so I'll just have it on a piece of twine hanging with the paints from that line of paint for Wise Owl. Like Wise Owl has, um, I think it's three different lines of paint. Uh, they have one hour enamel. They have one hour ceramic, which is, oh my God. The one hour ceramic is, um, it's made with, 3M microspheres and it's literally a scrubbable matte paint. Like, I don't know, I love matte paint. Everybody loves matte paint, but you get in the bathroom, you get like a glossy or semi-gloss 
because you need to clean it, right? Well, guess what? You don't have to buy gloss anymore. You can have that matte look with the one hour ceramic because it's literally scrubbable and it won't ruin the paint. It doesn't change the color. It doesn't change the finish, anything. It is unbelievable. And so I'm gonna do, once I get everything uh, situated in my uh, shop, I'm going to um, do, I'm gonna do a live or probably I'm gonna use, do a demo probably on it. Um, and I'm really excited to show you guys the difference between that and um, other brands. So this one, let's go back to the paints though. <laughs> this is called, I never can say this, it's called Isles Ave. I think that's how you say it. That's how it's spelled. I-S-L-E-S -S Ave. I think that's how you say it. It's a very, very pretty neutral color. This is Nautilus. I like this color a lot. This is really pretty, this blue. It's beautiful. And then, of course, we have Dijon. It's a really pretty mustard color, obviously. Dijon, get it? <laughs> like, I have to tell you that. Um, okay, and then we have a blue called Anchor. This is really, really pretty, pretty, pretty blue. I like that. Um, and this is Restoration. This is probably one of my favorite neutral colors. I like this color a lot. I'm probably going to use that on one of my French Provincial pieces that I picked up. Um, and this is Botanical, and that is the last of the samples. So pretty, though, right? Okay, so we've gotten through the samples, and we've gotten through... Oh, and I forgot one, because I now know what the big thud was when the UPS guy dropped my box. It was my little Bowie. Look at, I got paint all over me and all over my box. So that's Bowie and it's actually really pretty blue and only a little came out so it's not a big deal but it did and it didn't break. I think it just was the pressure of the box probably uh, being put down really hard because he was not happy with me, but it's not my fault. He drove. He's your driver. That's what he chose. Oh my God. Do you want to know something? I have more. <laughs> Much more. Oh my God. What am I doing? Okay. So those were... Okay, so I also have a ton of colors in the one hour enamel. I have the glazes and I have, let me just make sure what I have here. Oh, I forgot. So in the synthesis, uh, the, all those colors I just showed you were the synthesis colors. And one last one is Poseidon. So I don't know if you can see it. It's like a very deep uh, blue green. Also, do you see my face? It's really red. It's from my chemo. I'm sorry. I know y'all are probably sitting there like, why is she turning like so red? Like, it looks like I have a big issue with my blood pressure, but I don't. It's only, um, it's a side effect from my chemo that I'm going through, which I have my second session. My second session is this Thursday. So I'm excited. I'm doing, um, if you haven't seen my updates, I'm doing smart chemo. So I guess what, from what they told me, it only attaches to the cancer cells in my body. Hey, Maria. Love you, girlfriend. Hey, Sue. My good friends are on. I'm so excited. Thank you for supporting me. So now we're going to move on to 
the One Hour Enamel. And this color is called Kokomo. And literally, Maria, I think of you when I see this color. It is like a turquoisey blue color. So there's that. That is Kokomo. Then I have Wonderlust, which is like a deep bluish green. So these again are the one hour enamels. Uh, this is Coming Home. Isn't that pretty, that yellow? I, think, I love it, absolutely love it. That's a beautiful color. This is Bird of Paradise. It's like really, really orange. It's like orange red. Isn't that pretty? And then we have, let's see. I'm trying to see the color is that we didn't have. I didn't show you before. Um, well, actually, all of these colors are pretty much the same as the other colors. So I'm not gonna go through them all again. Um, Marie and Sue, you'll have to reply. Ha <laughs> ha. I am like literally sweating too. And again, it's part of the chemo. So I don't want to harp on it, but guys me a little bit batty. So now I'm gonna show you. I'm so excited about these products. All right, so this is a furniture salve, salve and it's called White Tea. No, uh, I probably shouldn't open it. Should I open it? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to open this one. I'll keep this one for myself. All right, let's see. Oh, I can already smell it. It smells so good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's so good. Okay, look. It's literally a salve for your furniture. So you rub this on, let's see, what does it say? So you can put it on the surface using the palm brush or a lymph-free cloth. You buff well to ensure the strongest and smoothest finish. Reapply as needed. It deodorizes, rejuvenates, protects, and beautifies all at once. May be used over metal to remove oxidation Used as a natural furniture polish, it makes a great alternative to furniture wax over painted surfaces. May be used over raw or finished wood to enhance wood grain. Used to revive, soften, and protect leather. Ooh, I'm going to use this on my leather couch. Huh. I just ran out of my stuff for my leather couch. This stuff smells so good. I think I'm addicted to this. Holy God. So, one hour enamel. You would ask me that, right? My best friend asked me that. All right, I have, okay, so remember, this is my first day at the rodeo, and I have, where am I? Oh, here they are. You guys missed the paintbrushes, too. I just want to show you, Sue and Maria, look at these paintbrushes. They're literally angled. Isn't that cool? This is called a P24. Looks like a weapon. And this is a P20. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? These paintbrushes are literally to die for. Okay, one hour enamel. I even have a quick cheat sheet. These are all the colors. So it says use a high quality synthetic brush. Roll using a three and sixteenth inch microfiber roller or apply with a sprayer. No thinning is needed. So, you apply two coats of primer first, and then it is, hold on, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it, guys. God, I really have a lot of homework to do. Yikes, I'm My products are going up on my site this week, too, so literally I have, like, this week to learn everything about. It says groundbreaking technology. It'll give you the toughest finish with zero downtime. So really, if I remember correctly, it goes on and it dries really fast, but it literally gives you an amazing uh, finish. 
and a tough finish. It says, our premium one hour enamel paint is incredibly tough, fast dry acrylic enamel for interior and exterior use on surfaces that require quick return to service and abrasion resistant finish. It's quick dry, quick recoat times, one hour enamel helps you get the job done faster than conventional acrylic finishes. So like, it's great for kitchen and bath cabinets, interior and exterior doors, which I'm gonna do my front door all over again with this stuff. Um, and they have really cool colors but that you don't get at Home Depot. Like, Home Depot has the worst colors for front doors. Um, you can do tile, you can paint tile with this, trim, concrete, furniture, and more. So we have, um, well, I'll have uh, this week some really cool stencils. And um, you can literally stencil your tile and paint with this paint. I think I'm gonna do that in my son's bathroom. So, yeah. Maria, you can come help me do that, by the way. All right? <laughs> I just, I just volunteered you. And Sue, you can come too. How's that? We can get it, we can bang it out really fast. My son's bathroom's like literally the size of a closet. So we should have this done in no time. <laughs> Maria, you're so funny. All right, so that is the salve. What is this? Ooh, this is some kind of tonic. Oh, I'm like a kid at Christmas time with all this stuff. I love... Okay, I'm like, I don't, you, nobody knows this about me. Marie, you probably know this about me, but I am literally a shopaholic. So this, opening this, uh, is amazing. So this is bergamot lime furniture tonic. Okay, Marie, you're going to ask me, what is that? Okay, I don't know, but I'm going to tell you what it is. You revive, rejuvenate, and protect seal all in one easy, safe step. So it's crafted with hemp oil, natural wax, and essential oils without nasty fillers or solvents. The furniture tonic has endless application and uses, including over raw or stained wood, sealed chalk synthesis paint, which are the colors I showed you at the beginning, um, renewed leather, polished furniture, and all of your stainless steel appliances. Don't forget your kitchen sink. Oh my God, you can use this on your kitchen sink. That's so cool. And on all your stainless steel appliances. So you can use it on everything. Like my whole bathroom is stainless steel. Oh, it clears up foggy headlights and even shines up old vinyl and cars. That's cool. Wow, that's really cool. I like this stuff. Oh my God, this stuff uh, smells so good. I can smell it through the bottle. <laughs> Okay, Sue, I have zero paint skills also. No, that's not true. I'm actually really good at painting. But I can teach you. <laughs> I'm actually going to do, um, I'm doing uh, when I'm able to. So I found out tonight that I can't do Facebook Lives until I think I have 1,000 subscribers. So we have to get me to 1,000 subscribers because I really want to do uh, workshops, like uh, live workshops and like, do, uh, you know, pick a project and do that and show people how to use the paints and the brushes and just do a really fun project. So we have to get me to a thousand subscribers. Okay. So Maria, you're on it. <laughs> Sue, you're on it too. No, I'm just teasing. No, I'm not. <laughs> anyway, this stuff is awesome. You guys have to get this. I have paint on my thumb. So hopefully I don't get it all over everything. Okay, so that is that. I have like more boxes, but let me, I'm just gonna show you, I have boxes with all the, um, with all the big gallons of paint. I'm not gonna show you those because that's ridiculous. That's just the same thing over and over again. But what I am gonna show you are, all the very cool other things that I got. I just want to clean this up a little bit so I can get to the box. Actually, the box is over right here. I'm going to take this box, this here, and then we'll take this box, and I will put it here, and I'm going to show you guys this very cool stuff that's in this box. Okay, 
So this is very cool. You guys will like these. Okay, these are, ah, I'm so sweaty. Uh, this is by Improper Apothecary. These are soy wax melts, and this is Riotous Rain. That's the scent. I'm gonna open it up. If I can figure out how to open it up. Oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, here's the packaging. So yeah, we have uh, wax melts too. And they come six in a package. It smells so good. Oh, I love it. So those will be for sale on my site also. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, yummy. And then can't open bubble wrap but this is <laughs> bad a soap it's paintbrush cleaner and preserver this stuff apparently from what I understand smells so good I like I'm gonna open this one this one I'm gonna keep for myself so good oh my god oh my god that smells so good I can't believe that's a brush cleaner it's bourbon vanilla scent look at that bad ace ah, get it <laughs> okay these are let's see what else do we have I think these are more subs I'm pretty sure these are more subs Let's see. Yep. Yeah. So we have Midsummer Rain. Midsummer Rain Furniture Sub. <laughs> Sue, of course I can teach you how to paint. Are you serious? Of course I can. This is Cactus Bloom. I bet you that smells really good. I am definitely someone who is motivated by scent. I don't know what it is, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I love me a good scent. My house smells like you go in each room and there's a different scent. It's kind of funny, but I have to have it. So this is, oh, this is Improper Apothecary. This is a candle. Oh, Maria and Sue, you're going to love these. I know that. So this is, the scent is tobacco flower. And again, it's soy. Look at that. It's in a candle in a tin. It smells, oh. That smells so good. That smells so good, you guys. Oh my God. Ooh, I love that. I love that a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Oh my God, so good. What's this? What's this one? Oh my God, now I can't wait to open all of them. Okay, this one is another candle and it's oh, this one is my favorite so far it's called black sea oh my god oh my god oh my god oh this smells so good okay i'm keeping this okay not selling that i'm keeping that oh my god you guys these smell so good i can't believe how much how good they smell. Holy moly. That's crazy. Okay, this is lemon verbena. Oh my God, this is so good. Oh, you can't smell it. 
I'm like, sniff. <laughs> oh my God, I'm such a doof and I'm really tired. My hair looks crazy. Okay, it's a candle and a tin, but let me tell you guys, holy moly. That smells like, holy crap. That smells like, literally like a lemon just jumped out. Oh yeah, they definitely burn clean. This is so good. Mm. Maria, you would love that. Jenny, you would love that. Everybody, you would love that. Oh my God. So good. That is like, wow. Okay, now I can't stop talking about candles. Oh, these are, so the next thing I'm gonna show you, I forgot I got these. These are called, um, these are the metallic gilding paints and like they're for accenting um, a piece. Like, you know how you can use it on like, you know how like furniture has little designs on it, um, moldings, etc. that you wanna accent. So these, this is, um, this is pearl. So I don't know if you can see the color. Let me go to the back. So I don't know if you can see the pearly. Yeah, you kind of can. So that would accent that way. This is mercury. I love this color. You see that? So pretty. You can use it like for a small thing. <laughs> oh my God. Guys, I just want more candles. Like, something's wrong with me. All right, wait. Is there more candles? Oh, this, you know, this isn't a candle, but this is the next best thing to candle. This stuff is so cool. Everybody's like talking about this, using it with your paints. It's called salt wash. And, uh, I'm so sweaty. Um, it's like, you get a sun and salt air soaked look on your furniture. You mix it, I believe, with the paint. Um, mix it into the paint, into any paint of your choice um, until it becomes thick and icing-like. It increases or, de increase or decrease depending on the type of paint you choose um, and depending on what the kind of look that you want. But it's supposed to, it looks like this, it's called salt wash and uh, everybody's using it and it's supposed to create like a textured kind of look on your furniture and the paint. So I'm excited to try that. I'm a little nervous to try it. I'm, I'm one of those people like I will try anything, but like until I get to the point where I'm actually doing it, I get like major anxiety. I don't know why I got issues, I guess. I don't know. I guess I got issues. Um, let's see, what is this that I'm opening right now? I am opening, uh, oh, a glaze. I don't know why I'm using a, I'm using a thing and it's in a bag, okay? Okay, so this is a purple glaze. It is called Hyper Violet. Look at this. It's a glaze paint, so... Oh, hi, Gary. Oh, I miss you. How are you? How's your son? I miss seeing your cute little face. Um, I don't even, I've never used glaze before. I'm going to admit to that. Um, I have not used glaze, so I'm excited to try this. But look at that. Isn't that cool? So that's cool. I have another one, I'm sure. Oh no, this is another metal. I think this is rose gold, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Because I know I wanted that. Oh, all right. So I have bronze. So this again is the heavy metals, the gilding paint. So that's pretty cool. Love that. And then, I believe this is rose gold. Hey, that's the bubble wrap. I love bubble wrap. You'll see me later on, I'll be on the floor with all the bubble wrap around me. Yep, this is rose gold. Like literally, you could entertain me for hours with bubble wrap, that's all I need. And a glass of wine, I'll be good to go. So 
So that's the heavy metals and rose gold. It's really pretty. I really like this color. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to get a good angle. Anyway, that's what it looks like. So, what else do I have in here? More. This is copper. This is the heavy metals copper finish. See that? It's very pretty. I love copper. I literally had, went on this thing last summer and I literally painted my, my fire pit copper. I painted my planters copper. I, I don't know. I had some kind of obsession with copper last year. Um, this is gold dust. Pretty. All right, I'm done with those. I'm good. I'm good. This is, is this a different scent? Bubble wrap. I love it. <gasps> you guys, this is lemon verbena. Oh my God, remember the soap for the brushes I showed you, the Bad Ace soap? This one's the lemon verbena. verbena. Do you know how to say that? I don't know how to say it. Oh my God, it smells just like it. Oh, okay, I would literally bathe in this stuff if it wouldn't like really hurt me. I don't think it would hurt me, but I don't think it's a good idea either. Just saying. That smells so good, it smells like the candle. Holy moly. You could like light a candle, clean your brushes. I'm telling you, make a cocktail. And this one is, oh, I must have loved lemon verbena, verbena, because I got another one. All right, so that's that. The rest of these boxes are literally gallons of the paints that I just showed you. I am literally having like some kind of conniption fit here. I need some towels. My chemo is uh, getting the better of me tonight. I'm literally so sweaty. I'm so sorry, guys. But this is what happens. Living the life. I'm living the life. This is what happens when you go through chemo. Maria, you know. Sue, you know. Unfortunately, I wish none of us knew. But you go through these periods where your body, uh, you know, says F you to you. And you just kind of kind of roll with it. And, uh... I decided I was going to continue to work through my treatment, and that's what I'm doing, good or bad. That's what I'm doing. Anyway, oh Maria, thank you. <laughs> so sweet. Anyway, so that is so far what I have. I'm putting another order in this week for the rest of the stuff that I didn't get. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of unpacking to do of paints. Um, I'm excited to start using them on my projects. I have so, I have literally, I'm not kidding you guys. I think I have, I'm picking up two si antique sideboards. No, I'm picking up, oh yeah, two antique sideboards and a buff, antique buffet, um, this Friday and then Saturday and Sunday. And, um. I'm super excited. They are beautiful pieces. And, uh, but literally, I'm telling you right now, I probably have close to 30 pieces of furniture in my garage. Like, no joke. But here's the thing. I think I spent, out of those 30 pieces of furniture, and these are not little things. These are humongous. These are big pieces. Um, I think in total, I spent... This might be high, $75. Most of the pieces I got were free, which is so cool. Like they might have a drawer that needs repairing. They might have um, some nicks in the front or on the top. So all I have to do is just fill it in and sand it down and then refin it, like restain it or paint it. Like, I don't care. Um, and most of the time, people were just giving away their furniture. Like, I don't, 
like people don't know the value of antiques <laughs> like and i'm out there like give me all your free stuff and my husband's getting so mad at me he's like stop getting f furniture we have so much furniture and he's right we do but let me tell you something these pieces are so beautiful <laughs> i love them i'm in love with furniture i don't know i got issues told you i'm a, I'm a shopaholic i got issues um anyway from yeah, Maria, you saw the pieces. I show you everything. I show you all my pieces when I get them. I like get all excited and I like a little kid and I send them over to you. You probably have like a whole your whole folder full of furniture from me. Anyway, so <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed learning about Wise Owl. I'm gonna go learn more about it so I can do an informed um like presentation to you guys on it I know that the one hour ceramic paint is like literally the coolest thing to hit the market so if you're going to redo your bathroom if you're going to do repaint a high traffic area like hit me up okay and I will set you up with some one hour ceramic paint and you will love it because you'll have that matte finish, but you'll have the um, ability to clean it, scrub it. You could literally scrub it with um, steel wool and it won't ruin the finish, like seriously. Um, and I have to learn all about it anyway because I'm doing a presentation for um, the ACID um, chapter my local chapter for interior designers. So, thanks. Anyway, so that is that is all I have to say about Wise Owl. But I just dropped my phone. <laughs> oh, look at my new sweatshirts, guys. How cool are those? Flipping Life with Lisa. That's me. Um, anyway, so I'm going to get off and end this live because I'm literally going to I think I'm going to melt. Um, I'm going to go jump in the shower. But I hope you guys all have a great night. Thank you so much for coming on here and supporting me and learning about Wise Owl. Thanks, Maria. <laughs> Isn't it cool? I love this sweatshirt. Um, I got you one, by the way. Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, I guess I'm tired because I'm like, just saying I'm a lot and I have no idea what I'm talking about. But thank you for being here tonight and learning about Wise Owl. And please like um, send me a message if you're curious about any of the products you saw tonight, any of the colors. Um, happy to send you a sample um, and just talk to you about it. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great night. I love you guys. Bye bye. Talk to you soon.